I mean, like, if you want to be real, okay, like, Back to the Future has issues in its time continuity, if you if you must, you know? And, like, I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Got a fucking tattoo on my thigh. Ugh. Does that make, is that, did I just, I have a gay friend? <laughs> did I just black friend Back to the Future? Like, oh, well, I have a tattoo, so I must know about it. No, that doesn't mean anything. I retract that. That was whack. <laughs> uh, but I love it. That was just a sign. Like, I love it that much. I've seen it a lot of times. Thought about this a lot. Trying to find, like, the holy fuck issue that throws it off. And it's the, the same one I always come back to every time with Back to the Future. That is, it's a gaping plot hole that they just can't talk about. And the movie conveniently ignores the issue. Like, it's written into the movie to ignore it. But when he comes back, right, after the lightning thing. Now, there could be other ones that I'm, you know, not referencing that I might not even know about. But he gets back, and the car stalls, right? But his goal was to just drive to the mall. He's like, I'll get back 15 minutes early. Now, that's dumb, right? But he's a teenage kid. You'd believe that that would be true. He could do, like, two and a half hours and, like, really just avoid the entire con- conflict. And, like, when Doc's on the phone, just be like, you know what I mean? He should have just come back to when he was in bed. Anyway. Uh, so those are the two issues in and of itself right there. There's two of them in present time. Um, There are two Martys and there are two cars when he comes back. Because then he watches the scene from the... Well, he runs up to it as it happens. So he watches himself get in the car and go back in time. The other car is still there. It just died. because Well, they had previous... Like, they wrote it in. It's not like it happened out of nowhere. So that was smart. Um, but it just dies, and he leaves it in the middle of the town, at the downtown, the square thing, whatever, by the clock tower. Um, please explain to me how there are two cars. Like, instantly. The car duplicated. That's a problem. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So you can just make as many as you want of these, just go back every two seconds? You know? The only reason that you don't see two cars at once is because he couldn't drive it over there. Because that would make no sense. So they had to write out that the, they had to write it in that the car dies. It's convenient for the story, but if you think about that for one second, it all falls apart. There's also two Martys. Like, what were to happen if his plan worked and he drove all the way to the mall, the car doesn't die, and he prevents Doc's murder? He could then prevent himself from going back in time. Now there are two Martys and two cars. Now, I suppose they could just vanish, a la Marty was going to vanish from not coming into existence, but now there would just be two duplicates, a la the Prestige, right? So if, like, one car vanishes, I guess that's whatever, but then if uh, one Marty vanishes, that's, like, a weird existential question, you know? So, and also just goes, like, almost beyond sci-fi, (laughs) 